Hey guys, welcome back sa ating basic C++ tutorial. So this is part 12 and for today, we are going to talk about object functions. So kung hindi nyo pa napapanood yung ibang videos about object-oriented programming, so go ahead and panoorin nyo muna yun bago nyo panoorin to. Kasi hindi nyo may intindihan to if you haven't watched that video yet. So let's proceed. Ano nga ba guys ang object functions? So ang object functions is a function in a class which adds a functionality to an object. So, object functions are called like normal functions. So, kung hindi nyo din alam yung functions, di panoorin nyo muna yung video about functions. So, basically, ang functions is a group of command lang na gusto natin gawin ng ating program. So, last time, pinag-aralan natin yung constructor. A constructor is also a function. So, ngayon, yung object functions na to is like a constructor din. But, meron siyang ibang purpose para dun sa ating program. So, para mas maintindihan nyo, let's go ahead and go to our code blocks and we will code something. So, guys, nasa code blocks na tayo ngayon and I have here a basic structure ng isang class student. So, meron tayong class student na may attributes na string name, may grade level siya, and may general average siya. So, I have this constructor na kailangan ng name, ng grade level, and ng average para makagawa ng isang student. So, here in our main function, wala pa ako nilalagay. So, let's go ahead and create a student. So, paano mag-create ng student? So, let's call the class. So, gumawa na tayo ng sariling data type which is student. Then, yung name ng ating variable student. So, I will name this student 1. Then, open and close parentheses. So, kailangan natin ng name first. So, I will name this Isabel. Then, grade level. So, let's say she's grade 7. And then, yung general average niya is, sobrang talino niya, 98.75. So, yan. So, we have one student. So, nakakreate na tayo ng student. And again, pagka gumagawa tayo ng isang object, it will run this constructor. So, as you can see, we will see out the student registered as soon as may magawa tayo isang object. So, if I run this, may kita nyo, student registered because I created a student named Isabel. So, ayun, gagawa tayo ng multiple students. Student, student, student. So, I will name this student 2, student 3. So, I will name this Kaiser and uh, team. So, we have 3 students and papalitan natin yung kanilang general average. Let's say na uh, matalim this Kaiser, 95.5 and si team naman is 90, uh, 75. So, there you go. Meron na tayong tatlong student with different general average. So, if I run this, meron ng tatlong student registered. So, ayan, magkakadikit sila because walang end L. So, dadagdagan ko na lang later. So, sorry about that. So, ayan, meron tayong tatlong student na ni-register. So, let's add end L here. So, ayan. So, ano na ngayon? Ano na gagawin natin ngayon? So, object function. So, guys, as you can see, this is a function. But, again, guys, we can create another function inside this class. So, we should go ahead and um, make another function in this class. So, ang gusto nating malaman is kung anong honor ba sila. So, pagka 98 and above yung average nila, they will be with highest honors. And pagka 95 and above, with high honors. And 90 and above, with honors. So, yun. Guess nyo yun. So, sa Pilipinas, ganun yung ating patakaran by titignan natin kung sino yung honor. So, again, gagawa tayo ng function inside here. So, we will say, um, so, we need a return type first. So, naalala nyo pag gumawa ng function. So, i-return natin is string. So, i-return natin kung with honors, with high honors, or with highest honors. Okay? So, ayan, kailangan natin na string and pangalan ng function natin. So, get honors. So, ayan yung function natin. So, ayan yung pangalan ng function natin. So, we don't need any parameters. Kikunin lang natin kung honors sila. Then, curly braces. So, inside here, we will now check kung ano yung honor nila. Kailangan din natin ng knowledge about conditional statements here. So, kung hindi nyo pa na papanood yung conditional statements or you don't have any idea kung ano yung if-else conditional statement, and then panoorin nyo muna yung video na yun. So, I'm always reminding you guys kasi baka nakita nyo lang to sa Facebook and then na-curious kayo and nalito kayo kung ano yung tinuturo ko kasi dapat panoorin nyo yung buong playlist ng ating CPS Plus tutorial if you are just starting up. Pero kung meron naman kayong knowledge sa ibang programming language, you can get this 
correct. So, ayun guys. So, sorry, medyo na sidetrack tayo dun. Let's get back here. So, again, meron na tayo ng return type na string and function name na get honor. So, ang gusto natin gawin is i-check kung anong honor sila. So, ang gagawin natin is conditional statement na if yung general average nila is um, greater than or equals to 98, and then let's return, return, then string yung i-return -re natin. So, we will put um, quotation marks, and then we will put here with high honor. With highest honor. So, sorry. With highest honors. Then, semicolon, save, then else if general average is greater than or equals to 95, then return with high honors. So, guys, um, note kung hindi nyo pa alam, pagka one line lang yung if else statement nyo, kahit wala na kayong curly braces. So, gano'n nangyayari yun. Pagka one line lang, kahit wala nang curly braces, just put your function right here or yung command nyo here, kahit wala nang curly braces. But if you want to stick with the curly braces, okay lang. So, again, else if general average is greater than it was 95, return with high honors. And then lastly, we have else if general average is greater than or equals to 90, return with honors. Then else, pagka wala na dun sa mga criteria na yan, return no merits. So, ayan. Save na natin yan. So, ayan. No merits. So, we have here the get honor function. Now, meron na tayong ability na tingnan kung may honor yung kada student na to. So, may different, may different ano sila, general average. So, depending sa kanilang general average, yun yung lalabas dito sa ating get honor. So, paano natin magagawa yun? Let's just type the variable name. So, kunwari gusto natin malaman kung ano yung honor ni Tim. So, we will put student3, so student3 si Tim, student3 dot get honors. So, as you can see guys, meron na siyang function na tinatawag na get honors. Then, semicolon. Then, save natin to. So, guys, um, walang lalabas dyan kasi ang ina-return nga niya is string. So, we need to see out this para makita natin. So, see out less than less than then yung, get, yung honors niya. So, as you can see guys, if we run this, you will see student registered, student registered, student registered. Kasi, nag-register tayo ng tatlong student. And then, we check kung anong honor ni Tim. Which is with honor siya. Kasi, 90.75. So, saan siyang criteria pasok? Dito. As if general average is greater than or equals to 90. So, dun siya pasok na criteria. Kasi, guys, again, pagka nagbabasa tayo ng code from top to bottom. So, titignan muna niya kung yung general average is greater than or equals to 98 then, i-return niya with highest honor kung true. But, kung hindi siya true, lilipat siya dito sa pangalawa. So, 95 ba yung average niya or greater? No! So, lilipat na tayo dito sa pangatlo. So, greater than ba or equal yung 90 yung grade niya? Yes! So, kaya, tumigil na tayo dito and then, hindi na natin binasa to. So, we returned with honors. Kaya, with honors yung lumabas kay team. So, sabi ko nga, depending on the student, kung ano yung general average nila, yun yung lalabas na... Um, kung ano yung nandito. So, meron tayong conditional statement again dito. So, nag-determine siya kung ano yung honor niya. So, if we put student 1 here, which is si Isabel, na pagka niran natin to, as you can see, siya ay with highest honors. Kasi, ang general average niya is 98.75. And, pasok sa criteria na if general average is greater than or equals to 98. So, with highest honors. So, yun yung ginagawa ng ating object functions, guys. So, dinadagdagan nyo na functionality yung isang class or isang object. So, ito, isang object to. Dinagdagan natin siya ng isang function which is called getOnor. So, we can add as many as you like here. So, pwede pa tayong gumawa ng isa pang object function. So, um, makikita natin uh, ano pa ba pwede natin idagdag na function here. So, yun guys, nakaisip na ako ng isa pang function na pwede natin gawin dito sa ating object na student. So, we can make a function that let them introduce themselves. So, I will put here another function called, so, return type string. Then, we need a function name which is introduce self. So, yan, pwede na natin tawagin yan. So, double parenthesis. Again, then, curly braces. So, walang parameters. Save. Now, as you can see guys, nadagdagan na naman ng isa pang function yung ating object here. So, meron na tayong introduce self na tinatawag. Thank you. Ayan. So, meron na din tayong introduce self. But, 
as of the moment, wala pa siyang ginagawa. So, what we want to do is to introduce themselves. So, ang gusto natin is, i-return natin yung ating string na I am plus. So, guys, pag wala kayo sa C out, you can use plus instead of double less than sign para mag concatenate. So, kung hindi nyo alam yung concatenate, yun yung basically pag a lang natin yung string para mag sila. So, first, I am plus yung name ng ating student. So, depende yan sa ating object. Then, plus and I am a grade plus yung dapat, di ba guys, ang ilalagay natin dyan is yung grade level. But, this is an integer data type. So, hindi natin siya pwede ilagay dyan kasi hindi siya string. So, first, we need to convert this to a string. So, paano mo convert to a string? So, ito yung pinaka-simpling way but maraming way na pwedeng gawin. So, we need to include another library in the top here. So, we will put hashtag include then angle brackets then lalagay natin ss stream then angle brackets ulit. So, meron na tayong include na library. So, this is for string stream. Okay? So, paano natin gagawin yun? So, we will declare a string stream. So, ayan. Lagay natin a string stream. Then, um, pangalan nung sa ating string stream. So, ss na yung lalagay ko. Then, walang laman. So, ano lang? Semicolon. Then, I will put sa SS, yung dalawang less than sign, then yung grade level natin. So, I will assign yung grade level natin yung sa SS. So, ginagawa na niya string yung ating grade level. Now, we can do here is to add the SS.str. So, ibig sabihin yan, yung laman niya na string, yun na yung print dyan. So, which is yung grade level nung ating student. Then, plus, I am a grade blank student. Then, period. So, yan na guys, nag na tayo ng I am, name, plus, and I am a grade, grade level, plus student. So, yun yung mangyayari sa interview yourself. So, once we call this, ang expected output natin is to be I am Isabel, and I am a grade 7 student. So, let's try this and let's run this. So, as you can see guys, nag-run siya. So, yan na nga. So, eto, I am Isabel, and I am a grade 7 student. Now, if we call this sa ating student 2, which is, ang pangalan niya is Kaiser. So, isave natin yan. Then, if we run this code, makikita niyo guys. So, ayan, nag-iba yung laman niya. So, I am Kaiser and I am a grade 7 student. So, ganun lang guys yung gumagana yung ating object function. So, basically, pinapadali niya yung buhay natin. So, nilalagyan niya ng sariling function yung kada object. So, ayan na. So, ayan yung logic ng ating mga laro guys. So, if you dream to be a game developer, then you need to have this knowledge. So guys, maraming functions sa loob ng isang object and maraming possibilities na pwedeng gawin yung object. So, isipin nyo, pagka gumawa kayo ng class na pangalan Chef, so pwede siyang gumawa, magluto ng iba't ibang dish. So you can create a function inside that object. So yung object na Chef, pwede siyang gumawa ng pasta, pwede siyang gumawa ng pizza, pwede siyang gumawa ng kung ano-ano. So yun yung object function. So, Yun lang guys, so yun lang muna ituturo ko sa inyo. Thank you guys for watching this episode and I hope you learned something. And as always guys, I will see you in the next video. Goodbye!